folks, Mundane Man here again, and we've got a problem. We just got back from a long uh, trip out to British Columbia here in Canada, and I parked the truck in the garage and noticed that oil stain on the ground. So we need to investigate that and find out what's going on. So we'll, we'll crawl underneath it and look up above and see what we got going on. So let's get at it. Uh-oh. We got a problem on the Ram 1500 here. I saw oil spots on the driveway and in where I park it in the garage. We got oil dripping from somewhere. Making a heck of a mess. I checked above and there's no oil coming from above, but I think my oil filter is leaking. So either it's not tightened on enough or when I put the oil filter on the last time it uh, I left the uh, rubber seal from the old one on there. I don't think that's the case. I think it might just be loose. We just came back from a long trip of about 3,000 kilometers. So didn't notice oil anywhere else so it must have just started happening in the last day or so. And look at that. I'm able to spin the oil filter. So that is a mundane man faux pas, I guess. Either the heat of the vehicle loosened the filter or I just didn't tighten it enough. So it seems tight now. I'm going to clean up some of this oil and We'll see if it drips anymore. What a mess. I'm going to use the old degreasing secret recipe of just straight brake clean and see what happens here. I'm going to make a mess in my driveway, but I'll clean it up after. We'll get on the dry shaft there and the control arm. Free lubrication, I guess. Now, let's get on that oil filter. Make sure you got safety glasses on. I don't know if I said that already. Try not to get my camera all gummed up here. Makes me sad. Everything was pretty clean down here. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe everything up and we'll get back to yeah. you. Okay, everything's cleaned up. Let's see if I can get that filter a little tighter. It won't turn anymore. That's a K&N filter, so fairly good brand. So you can only imagine it was just basically user error on my part. What I'm going to do, I'll start the truck up and see if it leaks anymore. and dry now. That could have been catastrophic if it spun right off. Well, it's always good to check your vehicles every now and again or even check where you park look for oil spots and stuff. Because that's how I discovered this one. Well, problem not solved. I still got a bit of a drip there. 
I'm going to see if I can get right underneath it and grab both hands on the filter and turn it another quarter turn. It seems pretty tight. Couldn't get enough leverage on it with my hands, so I've got a oil filter wrench on it. So let's see if we can get any tighter. Hard to do with one hand here. Okay, I got another half turn on it, so let's try it again. Okay, let's see how much oil we lost in this ordeal. Well, not too bad. Not sure if you can see it on there, but less than a liter. Looks like it's due for an oil change again. But, a liter of oil sprayed all over the place can make quite the mess. I guess that is, again, a disaster averted. This truck only has 113,000 kilometers on it, or about, what is that, 75,000 miles in 10 years? So, I hate to see it ruined for my stupidity. So there you go, people, be warned. Always check your fluids, look under your vehicle, make sure there's no puddles or anything and you could save yourself a lot of money by just doing that. So that's it for this edition of Mundane Man. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.